you know, there's there's nothing that's up in the air. I mean, uh, we had our one-on-one -on -one meetings yesterday. We were able to define our roles. Whereas last year, you know, the lockout, we didn't know if we were going to play the NHL or what. Um, the guys know they're here. They're here to compete. Um, they're here to battle to uh, to win hockey games uh, and to get back to uh, or get to where um, they all want to go, and that's the NHL. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, hot start, hot finish last year. Uh, great play at the end. Can that carry over at all, or do you expect a better start because of that? Well, I, I, I don't know if the momentum can carry over from there, but um, what we did at the end and how we played those hockey games, and because we have the majority of our group that was here last year, um, we should be, our mindset, uh, the, the knowledge of how we need to play the game to be successful um, should be there. It should be instilled and ingrained in them. And the nice thing for us as a coaching staff is uh, the, the veteran people that were here are now teaching the younger guys. So, I mean, uh, it, it's, it's nice to have um, a group that's been there before. They know what it takes, and hopefully we can start, as you said, as we finish last year. You know, we've got, um, I mean, there's a, a lot of different people that have stepped up and been, uh, uh, you know, surprises. But, you know, we knew that we were, we'd have a nice, uh, good, young group of guys, talented players, uh, the Sissons, the Salamakis, these people. Um, you know, so we're excited about our mix of veterans um, and young guys um, coming in this year. You know what, our, our style is, uh, you know, the organization, the Nashville Predators organization is, as well as the Milwaukee Admirals organization, has always been a hard-working, gritty, um, hard to play against, uh, fast, um, competitive teams. And uh, that's what we want. I mean, we want our group to play the game hard each and every night. We have a mix uh, with our group here um, that our work ethic um, from the beginning of last year to, to now is just phenomenal. If you watch our practices, we practice real hard. Our guys compete in practice as hard as we do in a game, and we don't expect anything less of them this year. What do you expect out of uh, Magnus? I mean, he started slow, ended fantastically. I would imagine trying to start that way this year. What's kind of the expectation? Yeah, I know Magnus, um, you know, credit, uh, obviously, to uh, our goalie coaches in, uh, in, in Mitch and Benny, uh, but a huge credit to him. Um, he did all the right things as far as getting himself into a physical um, shape, mentally learning the North American game. Um, you know, his development, if you watch him from game one to, to that last game, he was um, an, a completely different goaltender, but a completely different person as well. Um, he's a very mature guy. Um, his teammates love him. We expect him to, um, as our other older guys, to teach the younger guys in Masnick. Um, and hopefully his development uh, happens quicker than Masnick's uh, with a European guy coming over to North America. Nashville lost a big piece in uh, Roman Yossi this week. Any idea if going to be the going up? Um, at, at this point, no. They play tonight. Um, we'll see what happens. But um, at this point, they've got six, uh, six defensemen. Um, Ellis is, is going in his spot um, tonight. And then, uh, as we do in the minors, we just uh, we watch the games and uh, uh, read the injury reports, and then talk to them after and evaluate from there.